So we're going to retrieve a piece of flow metadata using this flow. In the first screen, we've got flow picker. This basically generates a pick list of flows that you can choose from uh, so that you don't have to, uh, you make that decision when you run the flow. The, it simply gives you the name of the flow you've chosen. That name of the flow is going to be handed to this new transfer metadata component. And that's being done right here. So we're using automatic output handling and simply selecting the output from that, that picker. We're setting a transfer mode to retrieve uh, because this component can do deployments as well as retrievals and we're specifying that it's a flow. So what that's going to do is that's going to return a string. Uh, basically it's going to return a zip file. A zip file is essentially just a string of characters um, that can be sort of decrypted into files. Uh, so this is just a normal display text. We're just throwing the output uh, of this transfer metadata. So let's run this. And I'm going to select a flow. Now it's checking. Now that's an asynchronous process because with metadata retrieval and deployment, it can take a short time or a long time. So what that screen component will do is it will basically uh, sit there and pull your Salesforce org every second um, until it gets either the successful retrieval or some sort of error message. And this is the flow metadata in this zip file string format. Obviously, it's not very useful in this format. So we're going to do something useful with it next. Okay, so we need to basically convert the metadata in its encoded zip file format into something we can actually read. And there's a little action that will do that uh, that is called extract metadata from zip file. So let's add that. And we simply pass it that zip file string that's coming back from our transfer. And let's reorganize this. So we'll take the zip file string from the download, the retrieval, um, and uh, then we will extract it. And then let's take the extracted value. So instead of the zip file string, let's use the output from the extract metadata, converted flow metadata. So let's run that. We'll select the same flow, retrieving it. So we can see all of the XML came through properly uh, in our debug output on the right. Why does it look proper on the left? Well, the answer is, goes back to the ancient prehistory of the web. All of those XML tags you see on the right, they're really kind of the same as the HTML tags, like H1 and P. And the flow display text essentially is rendering anything it gets is HTML. So it's assuming you don't want to see all those tags and that's why you don't see them on the left. So it would be nice though to be able uh, to not have to need to go into debug mode to properly get our XML. So let's solve that with another action. All right, so a really simple action here called escape XML string it's something that you can use if you're dealing with XML and it simply takes in a string so let's get the uh, let's take the converted flow metadata and And then let's update our screen one more time. 
And instead of pointing at the converted metadata from the retrieval, let's get the escaped string from the XML. And we're in good shape. So now we've got this nice piece of flow XML that we can work with. And you can see that over here in the debug output, we've replaced all of the greater thans and less thans with their escaped values. 